let us continue with the sum of chapter 1 so in this question they have given that nuclear radius r has a dependence on the mass number a which is given by this relation r is equal to 1.3 10 raised to minus 6 a raised to 1 by 3 for a nucleus of mass number a which is 125 obtain the order of magnitude of r expressed in meter so we have a is equal to 125 and in this relation if you see a raised to 1 by 3 is something that we need to find out so a raised to 1 by 3 is nothing but cube root of a and uh, what will be cube root of 125 yes it is 5 okay so let us put it over here so the radius will be 1.3 into 10 raised to minus 16 into this is 5 we got 5 now when we multiply this what will have 5 3 is a is 15 1 carried up 5 1 is a 5 plus 1 6 so you got 6.5 into 10 raised to minus 16 now if you remember while doing the topic of significant figures we have said that this part should be in the range of 0 0.5 to 5 okay so it is greater than this so what we'll do is we'll shift the decimal so this can be written as 0 0.65 into 10 raised to minus 15 okay and this is in meters so therefore the answer they want is in the order of uh, they want the order of this magnitude so the order of this magnitude is approximately how much 10 raised to 15 so our answer is 10 raised to minus 15 sorry not 15 minus 15 okay please refer this part in the significant uh, figures wala section let us go ahead to the next one in a workshop a worker measures the length of the steel plate with a vernier caliper having a least count of 0.01 centimeter four such measurements yielded following values 3.11 3.13 3.14 and 3.14 so these are the four values when you find out now these are all uh, length so what you can do is you can find out the mean over there so yeah pay mean ka value when you add all this and divide by 4 so you got uh, 14 14 13 and 11 come in so it should it should come out to be around uh, 3.13 okay so the mean is 3.13 centimeter i leave this you all to calculate so this is the mean length we found out then they want mean absolute error so for mean absolute error what we'll do is we'll find out absolute error first of all how do you find absolute error for a particular reading uh, take the uh, difference between the mean value and the actual value okay so for the first case the mean value 3 point minus 3 minus 3.11 this is equal to 0 0.02 similarly you can do it for second one 3.13 minus 3.13 this will be 0 likewise next voila you will get um, 0 0.01 and a4 will also be 0 0.01 we are taking only magnitude over here okay so won't be minus now uh, we can take average of this now when you take average of 0 0.02111 so it should give you average as 0 0.01 again you can calculate this so we'll got mean absolute error this is nothing but mean absolute error which is 0 0.01 centimeter okay क्या कर देंगे ये चारों को ऐड करके डिवाइड बाय 4 कर देने का नेक्स्ट इस परसेंटेज एरर सो फॉर परसेंटेज परसेंटेज एरर व्हाट वी विल डू इज विल फाइंड आउट द रिलेटिव एरर फर्स्ट सो मीन एब्सोल्यूट एरर डिवाइडेड बाय द अरिथमेटिक मीन दिस विल गिव अस द रिलेटिव एरर एंड व्हेन यू मल्टीप्लाई दिस बाय 100 दिस विल गिव यू परसेंटेज एरर 
so percentage error will be this thing multiplied by 100 into 100 so what we got is 1 upon 3.13 now when you solve this you will get this as around 0.32 percent so this is the answer you can verify this let us go ahead with the next question find the percentage error in the kinetic energy of body of mass 60 with this much error and velocity is this much with this much error so you got mass which is 60 gram there is error of 0.3 gram velocity of 25 and error in velocity which is 0.1 okay so if you remember the formula for kinetic energy it is half m v square so the change in uh, or the error in kinetic energy percentage error in kinetic energy will be given by this formula so here if you see they are multiplied so we'll use combination of errors wale me second wala type so into 100 will give us percentage error so we got uh, delta m by m into 100 plus delta v by v into 100 but we got velocity square so we will take two times delta v by v this is third wala type of combination of errors please check out if you have forgot or if you are confused next we will put the values delta m is 0 0.3 by 60 plus 2 times 0 0.1 by um, 25 into 100 let us take a hundred common over here now once you simplify this uh, you can take um, you can simplify this to get the answer somewhere around so we can write this as 3 by 600 and this can be written as uh, 2 upon 250 okay dono mein humne multiply and divide uh, multiply numerator denominator by 10 kiya hua okay this will be equal to when you take uh, when you cross multiply this you will get uh, or we can take lcm also so this will become 1 by 200 and this will become 1 by 125 right now what we can do is we can take lcm over here so to bring 1000 as lcm what we need to do over here in 200 we need to multiply it by 5 and for 125 we need to multiply by 8 so we got 13 by 1000 13 by 1000 and uh, we have in 200 right in 200 hai yaha pe. so what we are left with is 13 by 10 which is 1.3 percentage i hope you all understood this let us go ahead to the next sum so over here again we got four values and uh, you can try out the sum uh, according to what we did in sum number six okay i leave this as homework to you all next um over here they are saying that this velocity is equal to k root of g h e m a proof karna hai. so we will do this by dimensional analysis if you all remember humne ye kiya bhi tha. velocity ke liye unit is meter per second g ke liye unit is uh, meter per second square h is uh, meter agar main dimensions le lo in ka so it will be l1 this will be l1 t minus 1 this will be l1 t minus 2 let us write down v is equal to k and uh, g raised to a and h raised to b right we don't know what are the powers that is what we need to find out just put the dimensions of velocity over here and g and h over here and find out what will be a ka value and b ka value this is again an homework to you try this we have done this similar time of thing in the theory part okay